The Lou Dobbs Tonight A team is here. Ellis Hennigan, columnist, Newsday, Fox News contributor, Ron Christie, Republican strategist, Kirsten Powers, New York Post columnist, Fox News political analyst. Thank you all for being here. Kirsten, let's begin with you because I have to believe that the nation's capital is just reverberating with shock, surprise, and delight at the release of the president's long form birth certificate. Well, it certainly has kept us all busy today, I would say. I, it was, I was, frankly, very surprised that they did it, and I'm not sure that it would have been what I would have recommended that they do. But, really? Um, Why well, not? Well, I'll tell you, for a couple of reasons. One is I think that politically it, it worked to Obama's benefit, I think, by having the Republicans sort of distracted with something that really I think most people saw as, as a very peripheral issue. You know, when they're, they're talking about that instead of talking about where are the jobs or, you know, other things that actually people care about. Um, and it's, you know, so I think it's something that also was making Donald Trump look like, you know, kind of a buffoon. And so mm -hmm. I, I, why, why get in between your opponent when they're har harming uh, themselves? Well, Alice, what, tell us what you think. Well, I mean, I think Kirsten's on to something there. Hey, the, the Democratic Congratulations, Kirsten. <laughs> no, 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 no I, I agree. The, listen, listen, the Obama strategy, think about this in electoral terms, right? The Obama strategy oh, God, right now. Now you're going to make it complicated. Well, it, unfortunately, Lou, it does have something to do with politics. This might surprise okay, you. Okay, let me write. I'm going to write notes. Here we go. <laughs> but listen, the Democratic strategy right now is to make the Republicans seem wacky and extreme. Oh, and so, that's why they keep calling so, them extreme. Well, so, so, well, the word gets mentioned. So, so, so the more Sarah Palin is up front, uh -huh. the more Congressman Bachman is given the air time, mm -hmm. the more Donald Trump is stomping around New Hampshire. The higher Obama's ratings go in the, the polls. Is that right? Is. And, so, and so, so, what, so what we had here with this birth certificate was, <laughs> no, was they just dragged it out just about as long as they could. Finally, at some point, you've got to put the paper out. And I think by today, we kind of reached that point. Are you dazzled by Ellis's uh, analysis? Uh, well, I'm dazzled by the fact that the Democrats seem to think that their strategy should be to make the Republicans look bad other than governing. I mean, goodness <laughs> sake, isn't that why he was elected? But, no, no, in, in all seriousness, this is, this is ridiculous. If the president had this birth certificate and he saw this issue before him before, why not put it out there to let this sort of drag out, yeah. drag on? Oh, and of course, he's in New York City today doing fundraisers and then jetting off just to three, Oprah. Just three. You know, oh, but we're not distracted by that, Lou. It doesn't make any sense. And now I actually think the story is going to live on longer yeah. Than it would have. It well, helps. let's find out how long the story on Libya lasts, because it was supposed mm -hmm. to last only days. And Kirsten, we are now, uh, well, we're well into our sixth week here. Uh, mm -hmm. at, at, at what point is there going to be some sort of coalescence around the fact that this is a serious foreign policy issue of the United States? The Republican leadership is going to have something to say, uh, and this president is going to start mm -hmm. talking about his policy in the Middle East and Northern Africa. Well, I certainly would hope so, but I just want to quickly say that the whole Obama should have put the birth certificate thing out is a bit of a canard because the reality is what was released is what Hawaii traditionally releases. Let me ask you a question. I just asked you about Libya, which I consider to be a relatively important topic. Yeah. You call it a canard and want to reassert it into the conversation. I'm just no, no. curious Lou, about come that. come on. Oh, How I'm, many I'm presidents here. have had to, had to release their birth certificate to prove something, to prove that, they, that they're legitimate? I mean, that's what we're talking about here, and I don't think he should have ever have been expected to do this. You know, at so, the risk of dragging the conversation into the gutter, you want to talk about <laughs> Libya or something? 